if I did die, it would shock people, but it wouldn't surprise anybody. And that's what I'm doing with writing this book. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office has released its first report on Matthew Perry, who died Saturday at age 54. But it's heartbreaking for those of us who loved him and and knew him really well personally. We just missed him. Such tragic, shocking news. Yeah, and, and, and it's TMZ that's providing a lot of the intimate details surrounding his death. That's why I wanted to do it. I wanted to just talk about the highs and the lows because people are suffering out there. Ladies and gentlemen, we recently received somber news about the passing of beloved actor Matthew Perry. You might know him best as Chandler Bing from the iconic TV show Friends. Matthew Perry's humor and wit brought joy to countless fans for many years. However, there's an unusual twist to this story. It's about how Matthew Perry seemed to predict the next two potential victims to pass away. In this discussion, we'll explore Perry's impact through his role on Friends and his efforts to help people struggling with addiction. We'll also consider how society's perspective on addiction has evolved over time. Matthew Perry, a shining star in the entertainment world, was a part of many people's lives, especially those who grew up in the 90s. He played Chandler Bing on Friends, and the strong bond among the cast on and off screen made this show legendary. Born in 1969 to parents in the entertainment industry, Perry was influenced by their careers, eventually finding his passion for acting and comedy during his school years. His journey in the entertainment industry started at a young age, and his exceptional portrayal of Chandler Bing truly made him a star. His passing at the age of 54 came as a shock and left fans and colleagues in deep sorrow. The cast of Friends shared their emotions publicly, highlighting the real-life friendship they shared, both on and off the screen. The circumstances of Perry's death were also quite unusual. He was found in his home's jacuzzi, and the cause of death was drowning, with no signs of drugs or foul play involved. Strangely, just a day before, he had been playing pickleball, which makes his sudden departure even more perplexing. Perry's social media posts in the days leading up to his passing were cryptic and focused on Batman, a character he admired and playfully associated with himself. These posts have led some fans to wonder if they were subtle cries for help, considering the abrupt change in his social media behavior. However, it's essential to remember that Matthew Perry genuinely loved Batman and had referenced the character many times in the past. As fans and the world mourn the loss of this talented actor, Warner Brothers and the Los Angeles Police Department have shared statements about his passing. There is an ongoing investigation into the circumstances of his death. Matthew Perry's impact on Friends was undeniable. He added a unique dose of sarcasm and humor to the show, which became a part of American culture. Perry's personal journey towards sobriety and his efforts to help others struggling with addiction made him even more admirable. The Friends cast and colleagues have expressed their condolences on social media, highlighting not just his talents, but also his wonderful friendship and professionalism. Matthew Perry's passing is indeed a significant loss, and his memory will continue to shine brightly. In his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, the late Matthew Perry shared remarkable stories of his life. From his battle with addiction to his near-death experiences, he revealed the depths of his struggles and his relentless pursuit of recovery. What stood out most from his memoir and public appearances was his unwavering desire to be remembered as someone who lived life to the fullest, loved deeply, and made a positive impact on others. Let's delve into the details of his incredible journey. Matthew Perry's memoir unveiled a shocking revelation. He had undergone an astounding 14 stomach surgeries after doctors gave him a mere 2% chance of survival. Facing near-certain death, he recalled being put on an ECMO machine, a last resort measure that essentially did the breathing for his heart and lungs. Perry described the situation as a Hail Mary, an almost insurmountable challenge that very few survive. Despite these harrowing experiences, what resonated most was Perry's heartfelt desire to be remembered in a particular way. He longed for people to feel fortunate when they encountered him, to remember him for the joy he brought rather than the opposite. His words serve as a reminder that life is a journey filled with both ups and downs, and that understanding and forgiveness can transform our stories. During his time on the immensely popular sitcom Friends, 
Perry faced a personal battle with addiction that he concealed from many, even his fellow cast members. He explained that his struggle wasn't about using drugs for pleasure, but as a way to numb his pain. He yearned for the simplicity of spending time on his couch, taking painkillers, and watching movies, a version of heaven that no longer held its allure. By the time he was promoting his memoir, Perry had been clean for 18 months, a testament to his resilience and determination. He estimated that he had spent around $9 million on his journey to sobriety. His openness about his addiction and recovery journey served as an inspiration to countless individuals facing similar challenges. In an appearance at the Los Angeles Book Festival, Perry made it clear that he didn't wish to point fingers or blame anyone for the challenges he shared in his book, including his battle with opioid addiction. Instead, he emphasized the importance of acknowledging both the mistakes and the good things people do in their lives. Matthew Perry's legacy extends far beyond his role as Chandler Bing on Friends. He hoped that his efforts to assist those battling drug addiction would be the central focus of his remembrance. His public battle with addiction and his journey toward recovery left a significant mark on those who admired his openness and dedication to helping others. In the wake of Perry's passing, tributes and fond memories from friends and fans continue to pour in. Gwyneth Paltrow, who had a brief romantic encounter with Perry in 1993, fondly remembered the time they spent together before he rose to fame through friends. Celebrities and those who knew him have expressed their sadness and paid their respects, recalling the positive moments they shared with him. Matthew Perry's untimely passing leaves a void in the entertainment world, but his legacy lives on. His story serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of recovery. Perry's impact as an actor and his dedication to helping others will continue to inspire future generations. His journey from despair to hope is a story worth remembering. He explained that his struggle wasn't about using drugs for pleasure, but as a way to numb his pain. He yearned for the simplicity of spending time on his couch, taking painkillers, and watching movies, a version of heaven that no longer held its allure. By the time he was promoting his memoir, Perry had been clean for 18 months, a testament to his resilience and determination. He estimated that he had spent around $9 million on his journey to sobriety. His openness about his addiction and recovery journey served as an inspiration to countless individuals facing similar challenges.